Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to see how you can use Celery on uh, Ubuntu machine or how you can set up Celery development on a Ubuntu machine with uh, RabbitMQ installation included. So first thing first, what we have to do is to install and configure RabbitMQ. In order to do that, what we have to do is to open up a prompt. Acquire sudo prompt. And first, let me make this a little bit bigger for you. Oh, let's use the hacker colors so that we are more authentic. And make it like an 18. Yeah, so apt get install curl gnupg apt transport https and uh, once this is installed we are going to have to add the signing keys for rabbitmq these are the commands and once they are added we have to create a new file with well, let's use our etsy apt sources list and call this rabbit that list and here we have to insert the repository information for rabbitmq and let's save it so we are using nano and not a directory what sources list uh, d and then rabbit that list great let's insert these then save and exit now we can use apt update dash y and then we should be able to install erlang and all the dependencies of rabbitmq <coughs> so once the installation is uh, complete all that is left is to install the rabbitmq server and we are going to use the dash dash fix missing here so let's paste it and once the server is installed we should be verifying whether it's running and working properly with the systemctl command so let's do that system CTL status rabbit mq server all right it's active and running now uh, what we have to do is to enable the rabbit mq management uh, plugin so rabbit mq plugins enable rabbit mq underscore management and uh, <coughs> once these plugins are enabled we should be able to visit with our favorite browser the following url http localhost uh, 15.672 and now in order to access the console we have to create a user so we use the rabbit mqctl odd user let's make this mine and start exclamation mark one two three oh come on mqctl add user reaper pi start one two three and now we can use the set user tags 
to add my user to the administrators. And if everything goes well, I should be able to access the console. And here we are. So we have a working RabbitMQ uh, installation with 3.11 version and the Erlang is 25102. We have the connections, channels, exchanges, queues, admin, and whatnot. And here comes the fun part. What we have to do, because by default Ubuntu does, does it? 3.10. Dash and pip freeze. No module pip. So up get install Python 3 pip and Python 3 dev. So we have the development headers and whatnot. And once <coughs> this is installed, we have to prepare Python for the salary installation. So basically what we have to do is the following. Let's use the python 3-m pip install salary rabbit mq. Oh no, this this is the lib rabbit mq if I know it correctly. So let's see the installation. Uh, yeah, uh, it is going to give us some errors. The first one can be resolved with installing git. Once git is installed, we will have to install autoconf, automake, pgconfig, and lib2. So outget install autoconf. And first we give it the dash and the no install recommends. Autoconf, automake, pkgconfig, and lib2. Great. Now we should try and install the lib rabbit MQ. And if the installation succeeds, what we can do is to run our first example. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. <sighs> La, 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 la. So we have the example right on salary and we have the quick jump. No, but rather the installation. So the installation is complete. And now what we can do is to create a directory under the desktop salary and navigate to that. So we should be able to create uh, tasks.py. And here we have to import from salary the salary class. Then create our applications with salary and call this the hello. And our broker is going to come from the AMPQ guest at localhost. And as a decorator, for our app, we could use a task and create the hello. And we return the hello world. Now let's go ahead and save it. And we can use the salary command with the dash a tasks worker. 
and uh, we should be able to run it. What was the command that I used? Python salary example. Maybe it's the first step. Yeah, and we could have the log level set to info. And uh, <coughs> I think I made an example or a mistake here. I am QP. And as you can see, as a guest, we are able to connect to the AMQP protocol with the guest on the local host. And if we go here, what we will see is that we had a guest connection. And under the channels, we see that we have received a message, which was the hello world. And um, technically, this constitutes the hello world example. And this is how you can get started with salary development with Python on a Ubuntu machine with RabbitMQ. And that was all. See you in the next one.